Steph, uh, Gingrich, is that how you say it? Yeah, that's right. What kinds of radio have you done before? God, let's see. What haven't I done? College radio, small town station, did a couple podcasts, lots of live mixing for my band. Oh, okay. So you know your way around an audio booth. Yeah, totally. Your friend did tell me you were overqualified for this job. I just assumed he was, you know. Being Gabe? Right. <sighs> well, look, if you can handle it without much supervision, the job's yours. Awesome. Now, part of your responsibilities would be managing the record store. Given all your retail experience on your resume, I'm sure that won't be a problem. Oh, right. Yeah, no problem at all. Great. So your friend said you quit your band to be here. Can I ask why? Sorry. Maybe that's too personal. No, it's fine. Um, no big reason. I'm just trying to... You know, take some time to breathe. This seems like a place I can just enjoy being on my own. Well, I hope we live up to expectations. Haven Springs is no Seattle. I think I'll love it. Okay. The manager left me a task list for my first day. So that's probably around here somewhere. Are you the Haven High mascot? Pretty sure the only other time I've used a landline was to call my cell phone. Bet I could get these to stick to the bulletin board from here. Great, here's the list. Introduce myself on air? Huh, let's give this a shot. What's up, Kind Haven listeners? Steph here. Your new DJ at KRCT, live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And uh, maybe more in the future. We've got some great music coming up for you, so uh, keep it here. You're listening to KRCT. Well, I promised great music, so... Next up, check out the playlist. This is Haven's number one indie rock playlist. Pretty sparse. It'll do, I guess. Hello. Sorry, computer DJ. <laughs> it's my turn now. Shaking things up already, Gingrich. Maybe I can play a few more songs today. Now I'm supposed to read some ad copy. That must be around here too. And now, 
a message from one of KRCT's sponsors, the Black Lantern. Here in Haven, the Black Lantern is known for the historical decor. Where else can you feast under a used pickaxe and a literal bullet hole? That's right, nowhere. And then there's the food. Try the lanterns. Top-notch burger game. Best burgers for 20 miles in any direction. Bar none. Stop by the Black Lantern today and tell them Steph sent you. Ooh, I need a break. I'll just step away from the desk for a sec. I've been meaning to fill out my dating app profile. Steph Gingrich, this is your life. Next, gotta out myself as a media snob. It's only fair. What kind of stuff do I want to name drop? And top it off with a dash of what I'm looking for. How do you introduce yourself to someone named Bubbles? Okay, spending an hour entertaining yourself by talking to a bot is cute. But spending to there's probably work for me to do in the store as well. I think there was a note for me on the front counter. Eleanor knows I kill plants. She will. I've had maybe three conversations with Eleanor, and she's already giving me flowers. I can see why Gabe loves her. Gabe, your girlfriend is too good for you, man. Yeah. Analysis of the sonata form and its relation to musical structure and choice? <laughs> Whoa. Who's the heavyweight thumbing through these bad boys? Oh, oh man, I'm gonna puke. The hell peed on our rug. One day, if you're brave, unselfish, and true, you can be a real guitar. Yeah, this place definitely needs an update. this Valentine's Day. Call Fred's snow removal. What the hell? When's the last time someone even used this? 
no contact for two years. Then this mysterious package? <laughs> well played, Mikey. Feel like I'd get along with this woman. So, if I read that right, Kasha's basically giving me carte blanche. I can work with that. I'll check out those posters. Maybe there's something to spruce up the walls. As for music, I can at least start it by updating the new releases. And, yep, there's the vent. Might as well take a look. Nostalgia. Guess I should look through everything. Oh my god. This takes me back. So, need a new Elamon campaign. My old notebook had some ideas in it that might work. connect with Mikey. It's been ages. But am I ready to GM a whole campaign again? Fuck yeah, I am. Mikey still got it. Elamon, though, has seen better days. I gifted this to Mikey before I left for Seattle. Wonder if I'd even understand half of it now. One day, bad clip art is gonna make a comeback. And when that day comes, I'll be ready. Oof, we need to get this sucker filled up. I had this melody in my head all night. Finally got out of bed and recorded it. I wonder how it sounds now. I and if the whiskey don't kill me, then the moon <laughs> This is actually pretty sick. I guess upgrading from humming to actual music is a good next step. It'll sound cool as a guitar riff. Mostly, I'm totally at peace with my decision to quit the band and stay here. Mostly. Hmm. One of these might work. Promising. Cool. Shit. 
shit, that's coming from inside the booth. My first call. Better go answer it. Then the moonshine will. CT Radio, and you're talking to Steph. Yo, this the record store? Hmm, depends what you mean by this. What? See, this is a radio booth within a record store. And this voice you're speaking to, me, is a DJ who also works at the record store. But this phone call, as I mentioned, is decidedly for the radio. Follow? Uh, no. Could I just give you my order, and you can just, like, give it to whoever? (sighs) Yeah, why not? Sweet. All right, Uh, I got Goodbye Means Forever by Kim Snyder, Going Our Separate Ways by The Seagulls, Don't Let the Door Hit You by Robbie Rooster, Interesting choices. What? No, nothing. Just, who are these for? My girlfriend. I saw them in her wish list online and decided to surprise her. Buy local, you know? Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeesh. I don't think this kid realizes that his girlfriend is loading up on breakup music. Okay. Look. I wonder if your girlfriend might be sending out some signals you're not picking up on? Yeah, you lost me there. (sighs) All right, dude, listen. I'm pretty sure your girlfriend's breaking up with you. How the hell would you know that? Gee, I don't know. Guess I'm psychic. Whatever, lady. Screw this. Thanks for calling KRCT. Let's hear from one of our sponsors. PutToWorkColorado.com has been putting Coloradans to work since 2002 using their licensed experts. These people are like career Sherpas, helping you scale the mountain of your dreams. But Steph, you say, I'm a unique artisan with a highly specialized skill set. No way they'll have a job for me. To which I say, not with that attitude. And just for my listeners, get a free trial membership with promo code KRCT. Here's a new local business to get excited about. Avalanche Ice Cream in downtown Haven Springs. The variety of flavors they've got is gonna blow your freaking mind. Even their classics are a step above the rest. Prepare to change the way you think about vanilla. So come on down to Avalanche Ice Cream and get yourself a scoop from our good pals. Sunny and Angela Avalanche, explorers of the uncharted reaches of ice cream experience.
I emptied all these out, I could make a wicked fucking fort. But I'm not doing that right now. Not Kasha's favorite musical, I take it. French cuisine and you? Learn to shred on the guitar in 60 days. Mastering your email? Chapter one, turning your computer on. If we don't have any releases, what do we have? It's throwback time. There's gotta be some 90s child out there looking for a nostalgia fix. Why, yes, I did put up a poster of cute girls flexing. Let's not all act surprised at once. Treat yourself this Valentine's Day. Call Fred Snow Removal. What the hell? I mean, who am I kidding? I totally would have gone to this tour. All those years of high school set design were preparing me for this moment. Oh, it just needs some screws. Oh my god, that animal's living in the walls. Hey, you in there. I'm coming back tomorrow with Febreze and a broom. So consider yourself warned. RCT, Steph here. Hey, are you the psychic? Really? Yeah, that's her. You predicted I was going to dump Danny before I did it, right? So you're psychic. Sorry, no. <laughs> it was your music. You were apparently shopping for breakup records. No, I was shopping for acoustic guitar records because I'm learning the guitar. But you knew what I was really feeling, hence psychic. Okay, so my best friend for basically my whole life, Tara, and I both got into CU, but then I got into UC, which is my dream school. I know I'm always supposed to follow my dreams, but I'm so scared of what will happen if I go to school without Tara. She's my rock. That's... Are you sure you want to talk about this with me? Didn't we just go over this? Are you gonna help me or not? Okay, just give me a second. Damn. How do I tell this girl's future? All right, what am I going to tell this girl? Oof. A six is not great news. So, what's my prediction? For he ate of Jesse's bread and slept in Jesse's bed and he laid poor Jesse in. Okay, 
I think I've got something for you. Ready? Yes. Okay. The good news is that you and Tara will definitely remain best friends. The bad news is that it's her fault you end up dropping out of college. Really? How? Without her best friend nearby, Tara's judgment begins to falter. She joins in with a friendly group of agro-utopian poppy farmers, who are totally a cult. Damn it, Tara. Yep. So you, clearly vying for best friend of the century, quit school and moved to Bumble County, Wyoming to infiltrate the group and set her free. In the end, he regained one safe and grateful best friend. But no diploma. I guess that's the cost of best friendship. All right. That's all I got. Hope it wasn't too brutal. It was rough. But I think it'll help prepare me for the bumpy roads ahead. Thanks, Steph. I'll just finish up whatever I want to do, and then call Gabe. You're kidding. This is Yeesh. I may have no clue what I'm doing. Been all through this country, played at Razor Code. The wheels just keep going round. We're coming to another town. Everywhere we go. One Eventually, I'll need to get back in the booth, Unicorn Hunters. Barking up the wrong tree, I'm afraid. What city are we in? I don't know where we're playing. I don't know where we've been. And I don't know where we're staying. Sure, we're on the road again. But I want to know. Pretty sure the only other time I've used a landline was. I it was Tulsa. Where are we going now? Are we headed? Eventually, I'll need to get back in the booth. like something was missing if I wasn't rolling this around in my hand. I'm gonna be shaking up the playlist a bit here at KRCT. So get your ears ready for some fresh tunes and keep it here. This year's spring festival is right around the corner. So, uh, see Eleanor at the flower shop for volunteer opportunities. You're listening to KRCT, Haven's best and only choice for modern rock. We're coming into allergy season, kind Haven listeners. Don't really have anything else to say about that. The radio was on. Slow country sound. One tear in my eye. Oh my god, oh my god. Am I caller number 12? Dude, this job you got me? It's great. Turns out it's like four jobs simultaneously, and I'm qualified for maybe three quarters of one. Why did I let you convince me to bullshit my way through that interview? Uh, you know you're on the air, right? 
fire up the jukebox Start a whiskey IV like these with put to work colorado.com elevate your job prospects today our first day huh Kind Haven listeners, today is the last day of June, and that means we've got one more day to celebrate Pride. One of my favorite promotions this month. Contribute to our Haven Pride mural and get 20% off the Silver Dragon Dispensary. I'm told this discount is participation-based and will not depend on artistic ability. But just in case, here's how you draw a rainbow. Start drawing a circle, then stop. More great music from queer artists coming down the pike. Hold up. I'm getting a vision of the future. It's me answering your calls in just a few minutes. It's too damn hot to be, what's it called? Talking. Excuse. Better take this call. 